10, woo, that's a huge jump. Uh, for me, I look at the depth at the offensive line. I think I think it's lacking. Uh, I think they're on the right track, but I think um, I don't think we're there yet. You look at last year, the game that you worked called there at Ole Miss, um, where at one point during that football game, there were two borderline walk-ons playing on the offensive line, and very difficult to protect him and Hooker. And I thought that was one of the determining factors of that game, and Tennessee coming up a little bit short. Defensive line, you know, you lost Matthew Butler. Uh, very, very solid. And that was a question mark heading into last season. That continues to be a question mark is building up the trenches. And that's kind of where you know you have a chance in the SEC in winning nine, ten games when the trenches are on point. Um, so I, I think we are a couple steps away there. And then you lose out on a guy like Phyllis Jones. Um, Tennessee had five guys drafted. And Bayless is one of those guys uh, that was dynamic in the return game. Uh, the hit in yardage, she would eat that up. Um, his play was big in the Ole Miss game as well. Um, but you, you're losing some guys. You know, Cooper uh, Mays is going to be back, but Kate Mays, his brother, um, was out a um, couple games with injury. But, man, he's going to be missed, I think, uh, a big deal. So I'm looking more towards eight wins, not necessarily ten wins. But, hey, if it happens, I'll be happy.